Hey guys, it's Biggest AG Fan Ever here, back again, and today I'm here for another comparison of the 35th Anniversary dolls. So today I'm going to be comparing the 35th Anniversary Josefina to the Be Forever Josefina. Unfortunately, I don't have any pre Be Forever Josefina dolls. However, I did think that it would still be valuable to compare them since American Girl is currently selling both of these dolls and their accessories. And they are being sold for different prices with the 35th anniversary one being more expensive than the Josefina doll and her accessories. So hopefully from this video you can decide which doll you should get between the two or if you should get the new 35th anniversary Josefina if you already have a Josefina doll. So let's go ahead and get started. So obviously like always we're going to start off by comparing the two books. Over here I have the 35th anniversary one and on this side I have a Pleasant Company one from 1997. And you can tell from their front covers that they are basically the same, but honestly, I feel like the old Pleasant Company one has more vibrant colors this time. So here are what the backs of the two books look like. You can tell as well here that the pictures and the page numbers are the same between the two books. And honestly, the picture quality and colors also look to be about the same inside the books as well. So we are going to go ahead and start off by comparing the two dolls' faces. And before we start comparing them, I just wanted to say that I got my Be Forever Josefina in 2015. So she is a pretty early Be Forever and they have changed some things with Josefina since then. So if you were to get a current Josefina Be Forever doll, it might look different than mine. So of course the one on the left here is the 35th anniversary one and then the one on the right is the Be Forever one. Both of them have the Josefina face mold, obviously, since she is Josefina and both of them have Josefina's unique eyebrows. There are some slight variations between the two eyebrows with the 35th anniversary ones looking a little bit thicker in my opinion than the Be Forever ones. Another difference between the two dolls is that the newer Josefina mold is much thinner in the face when compared to the older Josefina face mold. The face paint between the two dolls seems to be pretty similar with maybe the lips on the newer one being a little bit darker than the older one. And one other pretty interesting difference is the difference in their skin tones. The older Josefina doll is actually darker than the newer one is. From the front, their hair color looks to be the same though, and their earrings also look to be the same as well. So I went ahead and turned the two dolls around, and my Josefina doll is not in her original braid, but I tried my hardest to replicate the braid. The thickness of their hair, as well as the length of their hair, seems to be the same between the two dolls, and honestly the color of their hair also seems to be pretty similar, with the 35th anniversary one maybe being slightly more brown than the Be Forever one. Both of the dolls come with these blue bows at the end as well as these yellow flowers. And honestly, the bows and the flowers seem to be identical between the two dolls. So now that we compared the two dolls' faces, let's go ahead and compare their outfits real quick. So starting off, they both came with this white camisa. And honestly, the camisas between the two of them seem to be identical. I know that the cut here looks lower than this one, but that's because the 35th anniversary one was pulled tighter. If I go ahead and pull this one down, the cut also looks identical between them. The sleeves also seem to be identical as well, and honestly, it just looks like the same top between the two of them. When you start to look lower, that's when you can tell that there are some differences between these two dolls. Starting off with the sash, the 35th anniversary Josefina obviously has a brown one, and the Be Forever one has this blue one. Even though they are different colors, they seem to feel the same in quality and material. And then their skirts are also very different as well. As you can see, the 35th anniversary one has the original skirt that is a dark red with black flowers on it whereas the Be Forever one has this bright red skirt with yellow and blue detailing on it. The trims at the bottom of the skirts are also different, with the Be Forever one having a triangle, more spiky trim, whereas the 35th anniversary one has more of a scalloped design. So if we look all the way down by their feet, you can see the edge of their camisas, and they both seem to be basically the same in length, color, and everything, honestly. We can also see their moccasins, and this is one of the more noticeable differences between the two dolls. 
So if we zoom in on them, you can see that the 35th anniversary ones are more orangey colored when compared to the brown of the Be Forever ones. The Be Forever ones are also soft. They kind of have like a little furry feeling to them. Whereas the 35th anniversary ones remind me more of Kaya's meat dress. The laces that tie up these moccasins are also different. The Be Forever ones are more of a cord, whereas the 35th anniversary ones are actually the same material as the actual moccasins, just cut up into strips and tied. And then also down here with the moccasins, I also wanted to say as well that the 35th anniversary ones feel much thicker in quality than the Be Forever ones. They seem really thin and honestly feel like they could rip as you're taking them on and off. So if we lift up their camisas, you can see their underpants and they are also identical between the two dolls in length, material, and basically everything. And while I was lifting up their skirts to take a look at their moccasins, I noticed that the 35th anniversary one has another red lining underneath, so that way you can't see the pattern, whereas the Be Forever one does not have another lining underneath, so you can see right through the pattern. And because of that, I would have to say that the 35th anniversary skirt is slightly thicker and better quality than the Be Forever one. So then here are a look at their meat outfits from the back, and honestly, you can tell that they're basically identical. Both of the camisas have Velcro going down the back in the same spot, and then both of the sashes tie in bows at the back, and both of them end in little braids as well. And both of the skirts also have Velcro going a little bit down to help you get it on and off your dolls. So of course, let's go ahead and compare the body cloth between the two dolls. The body tag on the 35th anniversary one says 2018, whereas the body tag on my Be Forever one says 2014. So the thickness of the quality between these two dolls is actually the same, which is weird. The other Be Forever dolls seem to have had thinner body cloths than the 35th anniversary one, but these two both have the same thickness in body cloth, and the thickness does seem to be pretty thick, actually. The color of the body cloth also does seem to be a little bit different with the 35th anniversary one having a lighter body cloth than the Be Forever one. The Be Forever one kind of looks more purplish, honestly, in my opinion, when compared to the 35th anniversary one. And the width of the overall dolls is pretty similar. When you turn the two dolls around, you can tell that they both have neck strings. Although if you get a new Be Forever Josefina doll, yours will come with zip ties instead of neck strings. And the neck strings between the two are different with the 35th anniversary one being shorter and thinner than the Be Forever ones. So here are both of the accessories next to each other. On the left here we have the 35th anniversary accessories and on the right we have the Be Forever accessories. So you can tell that they do come with all of the same items. So let's go ahead and compare them. So let's go ahead and start off by comparing the pouches. Here we have the 35th anniversary one and here we have the Be Forever one. Honestly, I've looked at these two pouches really long and there really aren't that many differences between the two of them. The 35th anniversary one is maybe slightly darker than the Be Forever one, but both of them are made out of the same materials and they're both the same size and they both even have the same little button here to help hold it together. Honestly, these two are basically identical. So next we have the two handkerchiefs, and honestly, these two are also pretty similar. They both have this flower in the corner, and they're both white. The only differences are that the Be Forever one is a little bit smaller, in my opinion, and it is a little bit more translucent than the 35th anniversary one. So next up, we have the two necklaces. These two are also identical. They are both the same size, the same color, and the little gem in the inside is also the same. The chains are even the same width and the same length. The clasps that are used to close these things are also identical as well. Up next, we have Josefina's Hola, and they both come in these little paper pouches that are identical. When you take them out of the paper, you can tell that they are very different. So up close, the front of them both have the same design on it, except the 35th anniversary one is more clear in my opinion. And obviously, as you can tell, the colors between the two of these are very different. 
print with the Be Forever one looking like it is brand new and the 35th anniversary one looking like it is really old. You can tell that the backs of these two are very different. They both say 1824 at the bottom. 35th anniversary one says copy really big in the middle. The Be Forever one has the full back and then really, really tiny right there, it says copy. And then the final thing that we're going to compare in their accessories are their rebozos. Over here, we have the 35th anniversary one and here we have the Be Forever one. You can tell that they both have the same design with the exception that the Be Forever one is lighter in color than the 35th anniversary one. The Be Forever one also feels thicker, in my opinion, than the 35th anniversary one. So I know that you can't tell this on camera, but they both are the same length. However, the 35th anniversary one is actually more narrow than the Be Forever one. So on top here, we have the 35th anniversary one, and then underneath it, we have the Be Forever one and you can tell that I am lining up the two edges here at the top. However, the two edges down here at the bottom do not meet and that is because the 35th anniversary one is more narrow. So honestly, I would have to say that these two are also pretty similar as well as all the other accessories between the two dolls. So those are all the comparisons between the 35th anniversary and the Be Forever Josefina doll. So be sure to let me know down in the comments below which doll is your favorite out of the two of them. And I'm sure I missed some similarities and differences so if you've noticed any from this video be sure to comment them down below as well And I guess that is it for this video if you guys enjoyed Please be sure to leave this video a like also don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon So you'll be notified every single time that I upload and like I said be sure to comment down below Which Josefina doll is your favorite and finally be sure to follow me over on my Instagram It is underscore biggest AG fan ever underscore to see behind the scenes of my channel as well as a bunch of cute photos of my dolls and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Bye-bye.